All right, let's take a look at this problem. And we are given a formula, t equals g plus 1. Now, we want to see which of the following statements is true for this formula. And before we begin, let's analyze this formula and see if we have any limitations for t and g. Now, if we take a look this, at this linear function, t and g have no limitations. Therefore, if we run into any statements that give us a limitation, it will be incorrect. Now, another point that is important is that we can always substitute, whenever we see a t, we can substitute it for g plus 1. And then it will make it easier for us to simplify and see the um, statement more clearly. All right, so now let's go to option A. g plus t is greater than 0. So let's do what we just said. Instead of t, we are going to write g plus 1 is greater than 0. Now if we simplify this, we get 2g plus 1 is greater than 0. We'll subtract 1 on both sides, and we'll get 2g is greater than negative 1. And we'll divide by 2 on both sides, and we'll get that g is greater than negative half. Now, this gives us a limitation for g, and we just said that we don't have any limitations for t and g. Therefore, a is eliminated. Now, let's move on to b. And instead of t, we are going to write g plus 1 plus g is greater than 2. And instead of t, we are going to again write g plus 1. Now, let's start simplifying. We'll combine the like terms here. We have 2g plus 1 is greater than, now we'll distribute this to, 2g plus 2. Now, this is incorrect because we have 2g plus 1 that is saying that it's greater than 2g plus 2. But this side has to be greater because we are adding 2. All right, so now, now that we know that b is eliminated, let's move on to c. We have g minus t, which is g plus 1, is greater than 0. Now let's distribute this negative, and we have g minus g minus 1 is greater than 0. And we have here, the g's are eliminated, and we have negative 1 is greater than 0. And this statement is incorrect, therefore c is eliminated as well. Now let's see why d is the right answer. Here we have, instead of t, we are going to write g plus 1 minus g is greater than g minus t, which is g plus 1. All right, so now let's simplify. The g's cancel out over here, and we have 1 that is greater than g minus g minus 1. So we distributed this negative into the parentheses. Now these g's are eliminated, and we have 1 that is greater than negative 1. Now because this statement is correct, d is the correct answer.